Hi everyone, welcome to this GCC Foundation Revision video. There's 19 days to go into GCC Maps exam. Today we're going to be focusing on the topic of vectors. So we're going to look at how to approach some vectors questions, and then I'll give you some questions to try yourself. And then remember to press pause and to try the questions as you're you know, going through the video. And um, if you've got the Code Maps Revision cards, card number 92 is on vectors, that'll be a useful one for you as well. So you've got the video tutorial there, the practice questions, and the answers are all on the back of them. So in this video, we're going to go through vectors. I really hope you find this video useful, and let's get started. Hi, today we're going to look at vectors. So we're going to look at vectors and diagrams, and we're also going to look at column vectors. So here we've got a vector. So you can see this vector goes one, two, three, four, five squares to the right, and it goes one, two squares down. If we wanted to represent this vector as a column vector, it would be five, because it's five to the right, and then it goes two down, so then be negative two. So the number on the top of the column vector represents how many squares left or right. If it's positive, it's to the right. If it's negative, it's to the left. And the value beneath will be how many squares up or down. If it's positive, it would be up. If it's negative, it would be down. Think back to your translation vectors. Okay, so here's one for you today. Here we've got a vector. Can you write it as a column vector? Okay, so this vector is going one, two, three, four, five squares to the left, so that'll be negative five. And then it's going one square down, so that'll be negative one. So if we wanted to represent this vector as a column vector, it'd be negative five, negative one. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, so now let's have a look at column vectors in a bit more detail. Sometimes we may be given column vectors such as A and B, and we're asked to work out things such as 2A or A plus B or B minus 2A and so on. So I'm going to go through these ones for you, and then I've got some for you to try. So here we've got the vector A equals 7 minus 2, and we've been asked to find 2A. So 2A would be equal to, just doubling these values because it's 2A, we're just multiplying the numbers by 2, would be 14 negative 4 because 2 times 7 is 14 and 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. Okay, so we find 2a. Okay, next one, a plus b. So if we wanted to find a plus b, we would just take a, which is 7, negative 2. We would take b, which is equal to 1, 3, and then we just add them together. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8, and negative 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. So that means the vector a plus b would be equal to 8, one, and that's it, and we find that just by adding the two column vectors. Okay, and our next one, our next one says to work out b subtract 2a. So we know what 2a is, 2a is 14 minus four. If we didn't know what it was, we would double this one. And we're gonna do b, which is one, three, and we're gonna subtract 2a, which is 14 minus four. So we're just gonna do b subtract 2a. And then one take away 14 is equal to minus 13. And three subtract minus four. Well, three minus minus four means we're gonna do three plus four because we're subtracting a negative. And three plus four is equal to seven. And that'd be equal to minus 13, seven. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at some for you to try now yourself. So we have got the vectors a and b. So a is equal to eight, six. B is equal to negative two, one. Can you work out three b, a subtract b, and four a plus two b? Okay, so 3b, we're just going to multiply both the numbers by 3. So 3b is minus 6, 3. And if you got that, well done. Okay, a take away b. Well, a take away b, that's going to be 8, 6, subtract, minus 2, 1. Because that's a, and that's b, and we're taking away. So 8 minus minus 2. Remember, 8 minus minus, we're subtracting a negative, so it's going to be going back up. So it's going to be 10. And then 6 take away 1 is 5. So that'll be 10, 5. And if you got that, well done. Okay, and our next one. 4a plus 2b. Well, let's find out what 4a is and find out what 2b is. So 4a, 4a, to find 4a, we're just going to multiply both of these numbers by 4. So that'll be 4 times 8 is 32, and 4 times 6 is 24. 2b would be what we get when we double both of these numbers. So that'll be minus 4 and 2. And then we need to add them together. So we need to do 4a, which is 32, 24, plus 2b, which is minus 4, 2. And when we add these together, let's just give ourselves a bit more room here. And when we add these together, 32 plus minus 4 means we're going to go down 4, so it's going to be 28. And 24 plus 2 is 26. So the answer would be 28, 26, 28, 26. And if you got that, well done. Okay, now sometimes we may encounter vectors on diagrams. So here we've got a diagram, and we're told that OA, the vector O to A, so to go from O to A is equal to little a. So in other words, if we go from O to A, that's little a. And here we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small parallelograms. So all of these distances are little a from O to A, from A to B, from B to C, and so on, they'd all be little a. And the vector OD is equal to little b. So O to D is equal to little b. So that means that O to A is little a, and O to to D is equal to little b. And as I've mentioned, this is a parallelogram and these are congruent parallelograms. So I want you to press pause now and I want you to write down how you would get from O to G. So what would the vector OG be? 
Okay, so if we wanted to go from O to G, we would go one, two, three to the right, and then we would go one up. So that would be A plus A plus A. So they're all A, so that's an A, and that's an A as well. So altogether, that'll be three A, so three A plus, and then we're just going to go up a B here, so that would be then plus B. So the vector OG would be 3A plus B. Now you could have done your B first of all, and then done your 3A, and got B plus 3A. Um, I would tend to do the A's first of all, and get 3A plus B, and so on. So if you got 3A plus B, well done. Okay, next, can you find the vector NA? So can you press pause now and find the vector NA? Okay, so to get from N to A, we're going to have to go back one first of all. So to the right is A, so to the left will be minus A. So if we go this way, that's going to be minus A. And then we're going to go down, and then down, and then down. So that's going to be going down would be minus B, another minus B, and another minus B. So going the opposite way will be the negative. So if going to the right is A, going to the left would be minus A. If going upwards or going up this diagonal is B, going down would be minus B and so on. So if we wanted the vector NA, that would be minus A, so minus A. And then we we're going to add minus 3B. Now instead of writing plus minus 3B, I'm just going to write minus 3B because then it would have minus 3B because it would be minus B, minus B, minus B, so it would be minus 3B. So the vector NA is minus A, minus 3 3B. And if you got that, well done. Okay, and let's have a look at one more question. Okay, and let's have a look at one last question. So we've got a diagram, and we've been told that the vector OA is equal to little a, and we're told that the vector OB is equal to little b. And the question says, can you write the vector AB, so from A to B, so go from A to B, can you write that in terms of little a and little b? Okay, so if we wanted to get from A to B, well, we can't go directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from A to O, and then we're going to go from O to B. So to get from A to O, well, that's the opposite direction. So that's going to be minus A. So it's going to be minus A. So now we've gone minus A, and we're at O. Now we need to get to B, so then we're going to do plus B. So plus B. So the vector AB, getting from A to B, would be minus A plus B. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. So in this video, we've recapped vectors. If you need a bit more practice, go to corpmaths.com and try to practice questions on vectors and also column vectors. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at our vectors. We've looked at our column vectors, and we've also looked at vectors represented graphically. So I really hope you found this video useful. There's 19 days to go to your GCSE math exam, so we'll be doing lots and lots of past papers at the minute. And remember, as you're doing those past papers, if there's any questions that you find in tricky, Remember to identify which topic it is and then to do some work on that topic and focus on those uh, areas that you find a wee bit tricky. And then there's on Cope Maps, there's the videos, the, the tutorials and the practice questions and those. So you should be targeting those topics at the minute. So keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next one at 3 o'clock on YouTube. Cheers. Bye.